Imagine a world where robots not only perform complex tasks, but also respond to our emotions, where they seemingly laugh at our jokes or express concern when we're upset. With Emeka, an advanced humanoid robot developed by Engineered Arts, this world feels closer than ever. In this video, we'll explore Emeka's latest upgrade, an emotional framework that challenges our understanding of AI capabilities. We'll see how far emotional AI has come, the ethical questions it raises, and what all this might mean for our relationships with machines. The idea that machines can recognize and respond to emotions gained momentum in 1997 when computer scientist Rosalind W. Picard published her landmark book, Effective Computing. She argued that for computers to achieve genuine intelligence, they must perceive and respond to human emotions. While this sparked intense debate at the time, her work laid the foundation for emotional AI. Early attempts at emotion recognition systems struggled to accurately interpret facial expressions, voice tones, and body language in dynamic real-world contexts. Researchers learned that emotions are complex and heavily dependent on context. A smile can signal happiness, nervousness, or even discomfort. Projects like MIT's Kismet and SoftBank's Pepper took the first steps in social and emotional robotics, but both encountered challenges in making responses feel convincingly human. Over time, improvements in machine learning and the use of multimodal inputs, such as facial expressions, vocal cues, and physiological signals, boosted the accuracy of these systems. By integrating more powerful neural networks, researchers in effective computing expanded the scope of what robots and AI-driven interfaces could detect and interpret. While accurately recognizing human emotions was a major breakthrough, the next frontier was generating emotional responses. Instead of merely detecting sadness or joy, researchers began designing AI that could display empathy, comfort, or enthusiasm in ways that enhance human-robot interactions. This leap is evident in settings like elder care, where robots in Japan provide companionship and help alleviate loneliness, and in educational contexts, where emotionally aware systems offer real-time support to struggling students. However, the ability to simulate emotions raises ethical questions. Critics argue that vulnerable individuals, like children or the elderly, may form strong attachments to robots that can't truly reciprocate these feelings. Some wonder whether emotional machines could be used for manipulative marketing or political persuasion. Balancing these concerns with the potential benefits of emotionally intelligent robots remains one of the core debates in this rapidly evolving field. Modern approaches leverage convolutional neural networks and generative models to interpret emotions and produce responses in real time. Reinforcement learning further refines these behaviors by rewarding successful emotional exchanges and penalizing unproductive ones, creating more natural, human-like interactions over time. Enter Emeka, one of the most advanced humanoid robots on the market. Developed by Engineered Arts, Emeka has a remarkably lifelike face, equipped with micro-actuators and elastic synthetic skin, allowing for a stunning range of subtle expressions. Its latest emotional framework upgrade stands out for two key components. Emotion Modeling Module, EMM. This subsystem tracks internal variables like surprise, curiosity, frustration, and satisfaction, updating them in real time based on user interactions and environmental cues. Adaptive Expression System, AES, acting on the EMM's internal state. The AES adjusts Emeka's facial muscles, head movements, and vocal intonations. The result is an almost eerie human-like display of emotion. What makes Emeka particularly remarkable is its reinforcement learning loop. Over repeated conversations, Emeka fine-tunes its emotional expressions based on feedback. Subtle cues, like a user's tone of voice, or explicit statements of approval or discomfort. In a real-world demonstration, Emeka might maintain eye contact, furrow its brow when contemplating a complex question, or soften its voice to show empathy. These compelling social signals create an engaging experience that feels strikingly authentic. But are these true emotions? Many experts emphasize that while Emeka's system simulates emotions to facilitate social connection, it lacks the biological substrates hormones, and subjective awareness that underpin genuine human emotions. Nonetheless, the line between advanced simulation and what we interpret as real feelings is growing blurrier with each new development. Emeka's ability to mimic genuine emotion forces us to revisit age-old philosophical questions about consciousness and experience. 
Can sufficiently advanced information processing become consciousness? Or does true emotion require a living biological body? Some researchers propose that complex feedback loops and emergent properties in AI could one day lead to machines with experiences akin to our own. But the prevailing scientific viewpoint suggests that current AI systems, including a mecha, do not experience emotions in the subjective sense. They excel at simulating emotional states to enrich human-robot interaction, but that doesn't necessarily translate to feeling joy, fear, or sadness. From an ethical standpoint, there are also questions about deception. If a mecha appears too emotionally convincing, people might form attachments or disclose sensitive information under the assumption that it truly cares or empathizes. In settings like healthcare, mental health counseling, or elder care, these blurred boundaries matter. Could we inadvertently replace meaningful human connections with compelling but ultimately unfeeling machines? As Emeka demonstrates, emotional AI is no longer a distant dream. It's here and swiftly advancing. Today's systems can recognize our emotions, respond with nuanced expressions, and adapt over time to provide more intuitive interactions. Yet questions linger. Does it matter if emotions are real, as long as we perceive them as such? How will these capabilities shape our definitions of empathy, companionship, and even consciousness? We're entering a realm where the line between artificial and human emotions is increasingly blurred. The future may bring robots that care for us when we're sick, assist our children with homework, and even become companions in old age. But as these relationships deepen, understanding the true nature and limitations of machine emotion grows ever more urgent. If you're intrigued by emerging technologies pushing the boundaries of what machines can do, we invite you to explore our latest video about Google's breakthrough in quantum computing with their chip, Willow. Quantum computing promises to redefine computing power as we know it. So head on over, learn about Willow, and join the conversation on how these monumental innovations will transform our world.